I didn't even hear the question. I'm still on Regal Swagger. I'm, I gotta, I'm gonna walk around now with Regal Swagger. In fact, that's my new name. <laughs> and in such bloody distance that every minute of his being thrust against my nearest of life. As a performer, when you were building your character, who did you turn to for guidance? Who was influential counsel for you? Well, you know, you, you, you take your cues from the from the filmmaker, from the director. And I was in a room full of great actors, so there was a lot of listening involved. You know, it's a it's really a team sport. It's called the tragedy of Macbeth, but it's a team sport. And people were coming up to the plate, knocking the ball out the park. So it was like you had to bring your A game just to keep up. Well, Joe. Uh, so he has created this very different pathway through this story for the character of Ross. Um, that when I first got the screenplay, uh, I had absolutely no idea what his intentions were, why he did the things that he did. I had no idea of how to play the part at all. <laughs> so um, I had to lean really heavily on Joel. Your castle is surprised. Your wife and babes savagely slaughtered to relate the manner. Shakespeare himself. <laughs> uh, I mean, of course, you know, the conversations with, with, with Joel and, and this cast, Denzel and Fran and everything, because we were around the table for over three weeks, um, just sort of figuring out the play. But at the end of the day, everything is on the page. All you have to do is sort of sift through and, and, and see it, but it's, it's all there. The roadmap is there. It's just, you just have to follow it. So that was fun to be able to mine it and still see how different that is from previous versions. I know I'm at and damn be him that first cries old enough. What was your first reaction when you realized that you were gonna be sword fighting with Denzel himself? My first reaction was, um, please don't be as clumsy as you are in life and, and <laughs> end up messing up and like hitting them or something like that. Sword goes flying and you know, here I go, they put me across from, from Denzel Washington with a huge real broadsword. And we didn't do it until that day too. So together until that day. So I was just honored, man, cause he just made it easy and he made it, it we just beat through it just like you would any other scene. And he just made it, he made it easy. Man. I mean, but, but it's not lost on me that it's Denzel, you know. Then yield the coward. I will not yield. Is the ground before young Malcolm's feet and to be baited with a rebel's curse. Regal Swagger out. <laughs>